Just before we start, I wanted to say a quick thank you to Abu Dhabi Classic FM for sending me to watch this film. You can listen on 91.6 in Abu Dhabi and 87.9 in Dubai. Anyway, on with the video. Right then, Collateral Beauty. Collateral Beauty stars Will Smith as a creative head of an advertising agency who tragically lost a daughter. So as a therapeutic device, he writes letters to love, death and time. But he gets a bit more than he bargained for when the physical embodiments of these three entities respond. Well, at least... That's how the trailer sets it up. Okay, this is a weird one. I'm going to spoil the first 15 minutes of the film because the film is set up in the trailers as being a bit more supernatural than it actually is. So if you don't want to know the twist within the first 10-15 minutes of the film, you've been warned. So I'm not going to say anything else, just this bit. Alright? People still here? I can't tell, or can I? Sod it, let's continue. So the film doesn't really focus on Will Smith as much as you'd expect. The film primarily follows Smith's co-workers played by Edward Norton, Kate Winslet and Michael Peña, who are worried about the future of their company, so they hire actors played by Kira Knightley, Jacob Lattimore and Helen Mirren to play love, time and death. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. What? And they come to him and try to help him cope with the loss of his child, amongst other hidden agendas which I won't spoil here. But the film sort of gets towards the tone of the trailers more towards the end. The performances in this film are all great, with Smith trying to work towards an Oscar nomination, which I think he might get, however there isn't as much of him as you'd expect. Norton, Winslet and Peña are all fantastic and feel like real characters with real problems, despite their initial moral ambiguity towards the start of the film, providing them with much more emotional depth. Mirren, Knightley and Latimer are also great, providing very interesting counterparts to Peña, Norton and Winslet. The pacing is a bit off, but it's performed and shot beautifully, and this is an ideal film to sort of bung on if it was on telly or Netflix. It's a charming and enjoyable film, and the performances really can bring you to tears. But in all honesty, I wouldn't rush out to see this, but if you think it's up your alley, go give it a watch. I really enjoyed it. But does my opinion matter? Well, this is a review. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'd also really appreciate it if you left a like and a comment, because the new YouTube algorithm is being weird and just sort of helps the video if you do that. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. It just helps me because I'm selfish. Nah, not really. Or am I? You can also find me on Twitter at BenMJDBrammer. Again, thanks to Classic FM for sending me to this movie, which you can listen to on 91.6 in Abu Dhabi and 87.9 in Dubai. Thanks, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you next time.